Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we're gonna do some hoverboard stuff and this is gonna just get so you understand the principle how a hoverboard could work and what kind of problems you are getting into. For example here I'm just hovering quite high as you can see BAM but for example if I jump what the hell so basically you can kind of cheese these things out which maybe you don't want and these are the quirks of having a hoverboard in your game. So if you want to know that, stay tuned. This is OneUp Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. So how does actually a system work and looks like in principle? So basically you're just having this guy here. He has a bounding box around him and if that box is touching kind of another box which is another object then you have a collision and this is exactly how this works with well other objects which is one of the standard ones so basically you just plant a lot of objects in your room which are those guys here they are they do nothing they're just well empty and then you check for, check for your collision. Of course you can do that with tile sets or if you're quite advanced with polygons, but that is a thing I guess for the future. So how does that work? Basically we're just having um, a fall speed let's say of 2. Now it's, I guess it's in my game it's 4. And that, that's why we need to have 4 pixels or other time checked every step. Hey, are we clipping here? And if we are not clipping, well then we can fall on. And what is clipping? Basically um, so basically if you're just getting like stuck like this and then you're basically stuck forever which we don't want and that's why you're having let's say four collisions on every side so here let's say I don't know you want let's say five pixels to the left and to the right check and for example if you are too close to, to this I don't know this wall on this wall then for example let's say five pixels distance then your movement to the left is being well, uh, hindered and you cannot do that. The same is with gravity and the same is with here. And for example, I have a jump speed of 10 um, pixels and then it would always check it for 10 pixels in advance. Hey, can I jump? If yes, keep on jumping. If not, bam, clamp me and then, well, other forces which are pulling me down all the time, if there is something below, are working as well. And that's why you're having four collisions every time and this is how it works in principle so let's get into the code and how does that work basically what you're doing you're just checking for your bounding box and if you don't know where your bounding box is just go into your sprite collision mask and this is your bounding box those are those four points of your collision and there you can read it out and for example here we just say all right our normal bounding box left right bottom top and those points and then, this is where the magic happens, we just say, all right, from the, our completely bottom point, let's hover 40 points, or, I don't know, 20 points or pixels. And the, this is how it works. And for example, if there is a collision, we just say, all right, no falling for you. And, and then if there is no collision, else, let's keep on falling with four pixels per step and this is being updated to our to your y position because the y is just saying all right are we falling are we going up can we can we jump can we fall and this is how it works and for example the same for the top you just say all right let's take our collision from the things which are above you and then you just go bb top because well this is the, the highest point you can achieve minus 10 y minus well because if you're on coordinates um, if you're going up this is minus if you're going downwards it's plus and the same so if you're going right it's plus for the x position if you're going left it's minus to the x position and th that's the same for the y position going downwards is plus y and going upwards is minus so you understand why those values are here and for example we have a side collision then we have two things as well your bounding box let's say to the right plus five no more going to the right and if you're going to the left minus five because well, that would be this position minus five plus five minus ten plus four 
so you understand those numbers and this is how you can do that in game maker studio but once again for example if we start it um let's give him the bounding box let's kill that guy again and draw our bounding box because you can do that well well draw a rectangle and then you draw your actual bounding box let's start again um what you will see now for example for our side collision let's zoom in a little bit bam he cannot because well, five pixels to the right and let's jump a little bit at five pixels to the left of course you can change those values depending on your speeds downwards upwards and to this side and as you can see it pretty much works and for example if somebody would be shooting below your bam he wouldn't hit you because your bounding box is here so this is how it works in principle but of course it has some well downsides as you, as you showed you in the beginning well you can kind of cheese a few things which are well, not optimal, but they are the way they are. So hopefully that was of interest to you. Have a good one. One up indie.